This is Jason's Electronics Repair. Welcome to my ER. We are back with switch number 1009. I finished the last video and it was like, yeah, it works great and all that stuff. And I can't test the dock out here. So I tested the dock and it didn't dock. So I have a dock now for out here temporarily. It's not permanently. And it doesn't dock now. In order to test it, I need to unhook the camera that you're seeing. So you just have to take my word that it doesn't dock. So we're going to take this back apart here. And we're going to use proper tools to pull some of this stuff apart. So I'm going to use these little pliers here to take out these cables there. And we're going to unhook all this stuff. And get all this unhooked. I did unhook the battery, so... So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to reflow that. Uh, I'm going to try to reflow that port one more time. It may have an issue with um, the port. So I may have to replace the port. So I'm not sure 100% yet what I need to do. So we're going to... We're not going to pull off of the game card reader. We're going to leave it connected to the digitizer. We're just going to flip it over as we pull this out of here. This is why I didn't put heat sink compound on it until I, uh, until I get it all the way working and it docks. So we're going to tear this apart here. So and now get this up here. Fan out. Let's get this ribbon cable out of here. Very gently. It was a little rougher than I like to take those out. Let's get this Joy-Con rail here out of here. Let's get the rest of these screws out. We'll take out the two USB-C port screws. And we'll take out the motherboard screws here. So, as if you remember from the last video, it had a... Uh, one of the TX lines was not um, connected, and which is a top pin for some odd reason. Um, and I don't understand why, because it says it's connected. So, so if I if I come over here with my testing unit here. And I plug this in and I grab my probes in continuity mode here. I should have a connection on this section right here to TX2. So it's this one right here. It's A11. It's pin A11. A10 is connected. It seems like this A11 pin is not connected. So what I want to do is I want to see if when I flip this over, if that is not a B pin. So if I flip this over and I touch this here and I so, so that is actually B10. So B10 is the one that is not making connection. So that is a hidden pin. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in my board holder here. I have my nozzle off of my hot air station. And I am going to reflow this port one more time and hope that it uh, flows. What I'm going to do is uh, use some chip quick flux in here. I'm going to squeeze it inside this underside in here. I'm going to have to really clean this port up when I'm done because I am oozing flux all over the place. So, so this is not how I like to do these ports. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my scope here. It's didn't come on. There we go. I'm going to turn on my fume extraction. And I'm going to focus this and I'm going to switch over to the scope. So there we go. So I've got in there. And I'm going to reflow this port one more time here against my better judgment. So I'm using 440 P. I'm going to let that heat up. No nozzle. Slowly warm it up. I don't want to go in for melting the port, so I'm going to slowly heat this up. I don't want to melt this port. I already got some signs of milking on it. I kind of want to avoid having to change it, so I'm going to try to do this this way. All right, that is settled down nicely. Just gonna add a little bit more heat to it, holding it down. All right, I'm gonna we'll take the heat away. Continue to apply pressure. So now I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to clean that up right there. I'm going to get this stuff off while it's hot. So if I look in there, I didn't melt the port too bad. So. So I'll spray a little bit of contact cleaner inside the port to get out any flux that may be in there. Not a fan of that stuff. I mentioned that before, but it does clean out the ports really, really well. So. So I'm going to set this aside to cool down. I'm going to take the scope away there. 
wipe off my bench here. And then we're going to check that in one minute here. I might have to change this board, this, this port again. I'm hoping not. I'm going to let it cool down. Just let it cool down here. Don't want to fracture the board or anything. All right, so that's cooled down. So we're going to plug this back in here. And we're going to see if we have connection on that pin again now. So I'm going to touch that right there. And we do have connection. Let's check the other one here. Yep. So that seems to have solved my connection issue. So let's get this back together and see if it solves my issue of... Of it not docking so we're gonna put this here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this board here make sure my flaps up I'm gonna stretch that out like so and i'm going to slide that in there clip it down come up in here like so get my that out That out, that out, speakers out. Cable, nope, put it all tucked in there. There we go. So let's get this hooked back up here. This should work. Fine now. So let's get all these cables hooked back up. And we'll get some screws in it. Man, I hate that contact cleaner. It smells awful. So, it's off camera there, sorry. I don't know why my lighting has been not up to par lately with my equipment. I haven't changed anything. I've been having to, having to adjust the exposure on the camera itself. So, I don't know that time of year but I normally film when it's dark out anyway so I'm not sure seems like I lost some of my natural light but there wasn't any natural light to begin with so I don't know how I could have lost anything Right, I'm going to put the screws in here. These motherboard screws in. So. I should have, when I realized that that pin wasn't connected, I thought it was just, um, had flux on the, um, the filter and I couldn't make a connection. I should have. Just refloat it again then, but I've already refloated it twice, and I didn't want to melt the port, but as you can see, I was able to refloat it again, and hopefully all is good. So, this port, I am going to start tinning my pads on my ports. 
um, before I install them. I forgot to do it this time. I seen other channels do it like micro mage repair and the coder and they all tell me to do it and i get putting a port in and i'm stuck in my ways and i don't tin it and then it's like after i install it i'm like oh i should attend it so i'm going to put a note on my bench to tend my um If none of these wires are pinched, you can get an error if any of your speaker wires are are pinched into the case or anything. We're good there. So let's get the power button hooked up here, and then we will get the fan in. We'll get the fan in here, the connector up here. There's the fan connector. Go. Oh, let's get those screws in. I don't believe how many times I put these together missing one of these fan screws. I had to take the whole thing apart after I put thermal paste on it and everything. And Get this okay so I'm going to screw this down there I like to secure these game card readers um, I know it's like wasting time in case it doesn't work but I don't I'm not a fan of that connector it's a that you know Lego FPC, FTC, whatever you want to call it, connector. I'm not a fan of those. And especially this one, it doesn't ever want to seat right. So I like to make sure the game card reader is not going to move when I go to seat this down. It never feels good. Never feels good, that connector. All right, let's... Look at these antennas here. So let's plug in the battery because all the cables are connected. Let's plug in the battery and we will connect my charger to it and see if it still turns on. And meter turns on. And no display on the screen. Huh. No display on the screen now. That is odd. What in the heck is going on here? Did my LCD connector get damaged? So I'm not sure here. That is very, very strange. Because it was working fine. And then it didn't dock and I reflowed that. Let's see if it turns on. Let's 
Okay, so oh, the batteries aren't connected. Hold on. Let's see if it turns on here. No, it doesn't turn on. Is the backlight? The backlight is on. I do not have image. For some odd reason, I do not have image. Oh, wait, there it goes. Now it's on. That freaked me out. I have touch. Um, why don't I have sound? Sound was all the way down. Okay, let me make sure it charges. Battery charges. Okay, does it charge this side? And it does. Let's see if we get a dock. Okay, so for this docking, I am going to zoom out of this. And I am going to turn that camera on. I am going to go to the side camera, large, zoom me out a bit, and then I'm going to hook up this dock right now. So I'm going to hook up the dock. I need, I need power. And I need this cable here. And we have that. Let me plug in the dock. I'm still working on getting all this figured out. Okay, so that's that. So now let's let's switch over. Let's go this one, this one, and let's see if this docks. It did dock. There it goes. Yeah, it's just the input is is iffy. So controllers connect. So we are good to go. This works now. So um yeah, that was that was weird. So there we go. Um this docks, I'm gonna put it back together. Let's let's take that off of there. Let's go on here. Let's get this put back together. I will turn it off. Oh, mode, turn off. We're going to turn that off. I'm going to unhook all that. Swap back to my top camera. And we will reassemble. I gotta put a switcher on that. I have a switcher, I'm gonna put a switcher on it. So let's go back to the top camera, there we go. So we're gonna finish putting this back together. We are gonna add some thermal grease to it. I use MX4 here. So we will put a little smattering of MX4 on here. Just about that much, way too much, because I never put the perfect amount. So we'll get our heat sink that we previously cleaned. So that will go down there like so. And we will get our screws. There we go. Get this back together. Make sure that's not pinched in there. And we need the mini SD card and eight stuck under here. So we are gonna blow over this hole. Must be. 
Pistachio. And we are going to put this on like so. All right, so. So we're going to take off this pad right here so we can plug in this mini SD card and the camera cut out. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, so I was talking and the camera cut out. Sorry about that. But we're not we're going to we're going to make this video survive. This video has been a nightmare, so we are going to get it together. So, I'm going to put on the back case here. And how I do this before I do the full blown um, ready for sale, I have, a, I have my son play it. And before I put every single screw in here. I just put these tri-wing screws in the back and then I have my son test it, playing different games, testing the memory card, all that stuff. So that is what he will do after school today. And then this will be on eBay. Links are in the description. So this is a version one unpatched switch. I will be sure not to update it show you the serial number right right wait for it there you go serial number okay so that's going to do it this is going to get tested it's going to be the end of the video uh links in the description to support the channel thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day